Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my introduction to Java tutorial series. Uh, like I said in this previous video, this tutorial, we're series, sorry, we're only going to learn uh, the basics to Java. If you already know it, you can skip it and move on to the other tutorial series. But this is for people who are brand new to programming and I promise I'll try to make it as fun as possible. Okay, so in this first video we're going to look at grabbing the development kit and grabbing an IDE of our choosing. And I'm going to give you two options but you can pick and use whichever one you want or anything you want. You can use command line if you like. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and type in JDK and then click the first link at the top which is the Java development kit. And we want to get this one right here. I don't want Java FX and you can grab them both together if you want to use NetBeans which we'll look at in just a minute. So we click here and we click accept because obviously heh, can't use it if we don't accept. Um, for Linux users, I recommend that you just uh, not get it this way. Uh, don't even actually think you can actually really get the JDK from Oracle working quickly and easily on Linux, especially Ubuntu. Uh, we're going to use something called OpenJDK, which we're going to grab in just a second. However, for Windows users, grab whichever one here. Uh, if you're on a 64-bit machine, obviously grab the x64, and if you're on a 32-bit, grab the x86. And Mac OS X, people can grab it here, unless there's a better way to do it on Mac, which I don't know about. Sorry. Okay, now we're going to get the two IDs of our choosing. I have them both, but we are going to use Eclipse because Eclipse works well with Android. And later, I would love to show LibJDX and Android programming, creating both apps and games for Android. Uh, so you can grab NetBeans if you like, or you can grab Eclipse. And just grab uh, this one right here, or you can grab the classic, or this one. Uh, you can grab this later if you absolutely need it. But for now, the Eclipse IDE for Java developers is sufficient. Okay, so now for Linux people, um, you can grab it through Terminal, uh, which is sudo apt-get install openjdk-7-jdk. Or you can just open up the Ubuntu store like I did. Oops. Spell open JDK, right? Please uh, go down here at the bottom, show 53 technical items, click right here, and click install and type in your password. Okay, so once we've done all of that, uh, uh, just either install or just extract in the case of Linux. And I put mine in documents, developer tools, but you just put it anywhere. And then just double click right here to launch Eclipse. And it'll ask me, and I already created a folder. And we'll hit OK. And I would just wait for it to uh, load here. All right, I'm going to make this package explorer a little bit smaller. And the outline. I like a nice big code space. Okay, so now let's create our very first project. So go to File, New, Java Project. And we can leave all this alone. And we're just going to call this Hello World. And we're going to click Finish. Okay, and it already created everything for us. And... So it doesn't complain. We're actually going to create a package. Uh, don't worry about what all this is. Um, because we will uh, get into this later. And as well as proper package naming conventions and what it is. Yeah, just click finish right there. File new class. And we're going to call this class hello world. Um, now like I said later we're going to go over this again. But make sure um, that uh, you... As a general rule of thumb, here, change it. It says right here, by convention, Java type names usually start with an uppercase letter. Make sure that your classes always start uppercase. And not forget that whatever the name of the, the file is, the class has to be named the same. And down here, we're going to go ahead and let it create the uh, public static void main for us. And we're going to hit finish. And there you go. It's already created it for us. And... In a rather neat manner. Sorry, I like my curly brackets in a very strange way, I guess, compared to most people. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to print hello world down here in our console and we're going to compile our application. Um, don't worry about what all this is. Like I said, we'll get to it as time goes on. Okay, so in order to um, print to our console, we need to use system.out dot print line and you can see it filling it out for us all nice and neat like 
and hello world. And we need to end it with a semicolon. And we don't have any errors. Nothing, um, no under squiggly lines in red. And I'm just going to click run. And it'll save it for us. Always save resources before launching. OK. And down here, as you see, our console popped up. And we have hello world. OK, so that concludes uh, this tutorial. It was just a nice quick introduction into getting everything ready. And now that we're all set up and we did our very first tutorial, we're going to start getting in depth on everything. And we're going to start learning and work towards learning game development with Java. All right, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. If uh, you have any questions or anything, please stop by my forums as well. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and everything is located in the video description. Thank you.